What up, gang? It's Ken Zuck, Ken Zilligan, Zika Milligan, and Villa Villa Zilligan, and we are back on The Crooked Man. All right. Y'all know what happened last episode, so let's get into this episode. Oh, my. Yo, phone ringing, bro. Answer that bitch. Huh. Ugly ass vehicle. Was that my phone? I was sound asleep. It was Shirley. She called me again. Why does she want this late? Maybe she'll call again tomorrow. I gotta go. A hospital, huh? Must be abandoned or else it's got terrible upkeep. What's with him in these terrible, these creepy places? Should I go in? Let's look around. Right, I can't go that way. Ain't nothing that way. All right, let's go in. Uh, we in that corpse party dead patient. Hold on, are we gonna be the dead patient? Not operational. Elevator stop at the fourth floor. Okay, nurse room. Oh. Oh, I can just do this. That is stupid. Sort of equipment, lost and found, copy machine, that's hot. Look at these, nothing. Oh, I don't like, it. it's locked. What if there's something inside? It's a simple lock, so maybe I can get it open without the key. Can I go up here? Yes, I can, all right. Keyholes painted over, keyholes painted over. Corpse party ass reasoning. All right, it's locked. Keyholes painted over. Keyholes painted over. Fucking hell. There's blood. Let's just ignore that for now. You never go into the bloody room first, you know? Ooh. Can't go in here. Okay. Oh shit. Dark red writing on the bed, likely blood. Do not mourn them, do not avert your eyes. It is happier for them. I have saved them. What is what does that mean? Them, who's them? I don't really want to find out. Are all of these about to be like that? Hell no, I heard breathing. Magazine rack. If I can stop one's heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one's life for the aching, or cool one pain, or help one fainting robin unto his nest again, I shall not live in vain. Em Emily Elizabeth Dick and Son. Don't do that. That's nasty. Beverage dispenser? Nice. I love beverages. Stop fucking making that sound. It's creepy. A kitty? Oh. Two dead kitties. Three dead kitties. A dead cat, its stomach has been cut open. The poor thing, I can't look. Why would you do this? Wait, there's something in there. In the cat? Take it. Oh, sorry. A bloody key. Well, I have an idea of where that goes. Moving on up, moving on up. Mm -hmm. Ooh, uh. A ghosty ghost. Scrap a notebook. I sat in the chair and watched the bed like always. Only there was no one in the bed anymore. What have I accomplished? I could only watch my family scream. I still can't answer that question. It's his notebook. No doubt it was here, but is he still here now? Probably not. Imagine bro's just dead. That'd be funny. Oh. Get out of there. I didn't think it would actually work. I don't know what use for an elevator we would have. Fuck passcode. Oh, 
it's one of these. Those have never really been that hard for me. Cafe key, elevator trunk key. Nice. Save! I guess that's not the cafe. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a numeric. That doesn't take a key. Move, nigga. Is this the cafe? Hell no. Nah. Stained white cups. Clean y'all dishes, bro. Ain't shit in here. Lame ass. I'm sorry. The hell was that? Oh shit, something fell over? Something fell out. A small wire. I fuck with wires. Bad bitch, she give me hot. Ah, uh, AED. I don't really know what an AED is. External defibrillator. Automated external defibrillator. Do you guys know what that does? Hold on. Defibrillator. Yeah, okay, that's that thing that um charge or what is it what is what do they say when they like they like they pump your chest hey yo shut your ass up Stop that singing, nigga! Are your mom and dad not around? Did you come here alone? Uh, are you mute, perhaps? Mama said not to talk to strangers. Well then, uh, I'll introduce myself. I'm David, 26 years old, live kind of far from here. My hobby is watching baseball, I guess. Oh, I like baseball too. Mama gave me a glove, so I play every Saturday. Whoa, I'm jealous. What's your name, little guy? Fluffy. Shoot your mom. Fluffy, that's your name? Yeah, my mom says my hair is fluffy like a towel, so Fluffy. I see. Where's your mama, Fluffy? I don't know. You don't know. Did you come here without it? Did you come here? Did you not come here with her? Well, we were going back home, and I was walking right by Mama. Then she said she went to get something she forgot, but didn't want. I didn't want to wait inside, so I came in here to sing. But mom hasn't come back. Damn, your mom's dead, little guy. So you got lost. Is your house close to here? My house is close to school, but you can't see school from here, so I guess it's probably far. Uh, you're really, you're really something to have waited here all alone. Great, a kid lost late at night. Then there's a sheriff's office nearby. Maybe I should take him there. Hey, Fluffy, it's scary in the dark, isn't it? How about you go with me to a Mr. Policeman? Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. No! What's wrong, Mr. Fluffy? What's wrong, Fluffy? I'll have Mr. Policeman show you a patrol car. Don't you want to come along? I'm not scared of the dark. I'm a big boy. You're the scaredy cat, aren't you? Fucking hate kids. Better give chase, I guess. Then again, maybe his mom will find him. I don't want to be questioned by the sheriff anyway. I'll take it to the sheriff if I see him again. We'll never see him again. Uh, this is a cool game. It's really not my kind, though. It feels like... It doesn't feel very directional. Like, it, it gives too much... It gives you too much um choice on where to go and when to go, so... Like, there, it doesn't give, like, obvious direction. I don't really like that. I'm kind of on a stupider side. Oh, I unlocked it with the wire. Okay. I didn't even think about that. I was just touching shit. Note about a number lock. Four, four, eight, nine. I think I know what that is. 
Is this locked battery operated? It's not working, so the batteries are dead. Well, the place is abandoned. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Open the lid and take out the battery. Okay. Put the battery in the lock device. I forgot the code. 4489. Okay, do it. Damn, nigga. 4, 4, 8, 9. Come on. Bring me my money. I'm hungry as fuck. Women's bathroom. Men's bathroom. Emergency patient transport. Elevator. Leave them. To all mothers carrying babies, please stop abandoning children in front of the hospital. Six precious lives have been lost this month alone. Damn, that's fucked. Pretty flowers, they seem to be artificial. Dirty ass. Clean your shit. Wooden box, six. Sorry for the director. See the puzzle box the other day, rather interesting thing to open it. I have to arrange lighter pieces to form a word. I made that keyword my favorite word. Uh, 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 favorites always makes me just so happy. In fact, I should show the box to my daughter. Unbelievable. When I show my daughter the puzzle box, she hid all the pieces. What's inside isn't really something you use every day, so it's not a huge deal. She actually gave me hints on where, I, where they are, but I can't find any. Maybe when I have time. I'm a whoop on your daughter, bro. I'm actually, I'm like, I'm actually about to, I'm actually going to give your daughter a whoop if I see her. Pissing me off. Flowers are nice. Okay. Something in the vase of peace. Annoying ass. Flowers are nice. Wash your hands. Ooh. Cabinet is locked. Something on the desk. Key to the counseling room. Okay. Where there's a, is this a hammer? Looks heavy. I don't want to lug this around. Maybe if I find somewhere to use it, though. Huh? There you are, Fluffy. Don't you know not to wander off alone? I can handle the dark fun. I told you I'm a big boy. I'm not going to cry like some baby. Wow, you sure do seem brave, Fluffy. I have to admire that. Really? Yeah, you're as brave as Captain America. I'm kind of scared of walking in the dark, but here I am looking for someone. If only there was someone here I could depend on. Just my luck. Okay, I'll go with you, Mr. David. Whoa, really? What a relief. Thanks. I feel much safer with you here. I'll protect you, Mr. David. Stay together until his mother shows up. If she doesn't, Sheriff Office it is. Stethoscope. Think of the doctor uses. I want one. Can I have it? It's kind of dirty. You probably shouldn't. Medical equipment. What's this stuff? I don't know. Oh, you're about to. You're gonna be fucking annoying, aren't you? Just yip yapping, talking and shit. Imagine myself. I'm up to three feet. What about you? Think I'm around six. Oh, this is about to be insufferable. Wash your hands. Where do you have lunch? All right, so I guess let's go to the cafeteria. We might as well. Oh, wait, we can still go up. Public phone, something in the chat. Oh, that's a piece. Okay. So we've got flowers are nice and give me a call. So wash your hands. Where do you have lunch? Nurses know. Get close to the sky. Oh. No way. Water's no good. Just give it to me, bro. Just give it to me. I'm gonna suck in a drain. There we go. Mr. David, I gotta go pee. Okay, so we got Yuka, okay. Okay, I guess it's the girls room, so you can you should technically go in the boys one. Not sure if it'll flush though. Flush. 
Fluff, are you okay? Huh? What is it, Fluffy? Come out already. I can't open the door. What? It won't open. Did the door just break or something? Why the fuck did you close the door in the first place, you dumbass? Mr. David, I can't get out. Am I going to be stuck here forever? So, Cal, I'll get you out in a second. Just give me a second. Uh, maybe the bloody key? Hell no. Nah. Okay, let's save. A small key. Maybe that's it. Stop crying, bro. Damn. Here we go. You don't have a re- Small key? Key to chemical closet. Alright, that's cool and all, but how are we gonna get Fluffy out? Oh, scrap from notebook paper. My mother told me I was born here. She called this place a, a place of happiness. But for me, it's a place of regret. Wish I could kill my child self. Back when I was pure, when, every, when I still thought everyone loved me. Don't nobody fuck with you, gang. You should have known that. Oh, shit. The wall is slightly damaged. There are fractions of fragments of concrete on the ground. Maybe it'll break it. Maybe if I break this wall some more, do I have anything I can use? That's what the hammer's for. Personally, I would have used the hammer to break the door, but no, every, everybody has their methods, I guess. Fluffy. Hold on. Save. Save. Break that shit. Use a hammer. I should be able to get through here. Okay, use the. Oh my goodness. Hey, Fluffy, what's wrong? What happened? No, don't come near me. I'm scared. Fluffy, don't worry. It's me, David. Mr. David? Ah! Aww, look at the little kitty. Give me that screenshot though. I was waiting for you, Mr. David, and then I turned around and there was a guy there. He tried to get me. A man, Fluffy, what was he like? His neck was all limp and he was grinning. He looked at me and said, found you. I was so scared I hid in here. A man with a crooked neck? It's him. So he followed me here too. Damn it, why Fluffy and not me? I was scared, I was so scared. It's okay now, Fluffy. You did good for yourself, I'm proud of you. If he's here, then I can't let stuff Fluffy stay here. I have to take him to the police. Fluffy, should we go to Mr. Policeman? It's dark and dangerous around here, I'll take you there. It'll be okay. No, I'm staying with Mr. David, I'm waiting for Mama. Fluffy, please, don't be so selfish. I'm sure your mom went to the police too. No, mama said wait here. I know she's gonna come for me. I'll wait for her because I'm tough. Fluffy. If I can't find if I can't find him here soon and Fluffy's mom doesn't show, I'll have to take him to the sheriff. Fluffy sure won't like that. Boy, this is getting troublesome. I just hope she shows up soon. Alright, we'll wait a little longer together, okay? Your mom will come soon, I know it. So hey, don't cry. You're a big boy, right? Don't tell mama I cry. Mama hates it when I cry. She gets mad. I won't tell her so. It's a promise between men. Now let's go. Dang, your mama beating on you or something? All right, now let's find the rest of these pieces. Something in here. Let's go. Okay, so we need a nurse's note and get close to the sky. There was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. 
He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. There was a crooked man, huh? Yeah, mama taught it to me. I like to sing and I sing lots. I like that song. I see. What is it, mister? I actually learned it as a kid too, but I didn't like it very much. Why not? It just felt like a sad song to me. The guy's been crooked his whole life and all he's got around him is crooked stuff. I was scared to think, what if I was a crooked man? Only when I was a kid, of course. I don't get it, mister, but sorry for singing a sad song. No, it just reminded me of that. You're a good singer, Fluffy. Do you sing with your mama? Mama likes to sing too. It's fun to sing with her. Do you sing, David? No, I'm no good. You're better off not hearing me try. All right. Oh, shit. Lone Diary. That newbie Steve made a fine mess. He spilled some hydrogen bromide and made a hole in the wall. I told him that stuff could eat through iron. He better pay me back for this. Which one are we looking for? Nurses know closer to the sky. The fuck? Model of an embryo. A baby. It looks like a monkey. Oh, well, babies are kind of like that. Serious machine. Just work. No power. Small shelves. Oh, snap. Okay. I just saw a shadow. Was it my imagination? I didn't see anything. What's up, Mr. David? Nothing. I didn't see anything, I'm gonna be honest. Wasn't paying attention. Books, loan diary. Tape 15, subject visitor, guarantor for relative of room 409. A visited, a visited at the sudden change in patient's condition. Patient was hospitalized upon identified brain illness. Surgery to deem necessary due to declining health. The patient still thinks herself healthy, which causes A a great deal of distress. Her memories of A are also vague. A sought counseling on how to hope. How to whatever. Cope. The patient misunderstands it as A abandoning her. She cries and screams, her mind unstable. Counseling will likely continue for both. That sounds just like bro's mother. Subject A. A visited after the patient's death. He lamented that she, given she was going to die, he couldn't watch over her at home. He stated that living in, living in itself is not happy. So, his, so if life is agony, then wanting death is unavoidable. Should I refuse him as a doctor or tolerate it as a person of dignity? I wish he would come back here, but unfortunately I can't force him. When this kind of thing happens a lot, literally talking about you. What's that, a storybook? No, it's not. Key in the diary. Psychiatric key. Nice. That was in the other building? No? Save. Off the blah blah blah. Blah blah. Dumba dumba dick. Yama dumba doop. Yama dumba. Lama gama goop gama goop. Radiology. Neurosurgery. Psychiatry. Oh. How interesting. Memo on the bulletin board. Bed. Trash. Board. Someone's doodling? Depicting. What are these numbers for? Oh, it's so fucking stupid. John Smith is dead. It appears he hung himself. I was no help at all, it seems. All I got in the end was his suicide note. Patient suicide note. It's chasing me no matter where I go. I can't ever escape, so I've decided to die. But I realize it's grinning. In fact, it's grinning behind me right now. It's been waiting for me to do this. This is what it was chasing me for, but now I'll be free from it. 
Doctor, please take care. It might start to follow you next. There's no point in running because it's always at someone's back. Goodbye. Thank you for thank you for everything, Doctor. You were the only one who showed sympathy. Crooked man is a crooked guy, you know? Pretty crooked. Two bad, three trash, four bored. I have an idea. Save. I have an idea. Four is bored, right? Uh, well, let's start from the beginning. There we go. Look up top. Dirty sheets. Look under. Seven. So seven. Seven, one, and then four is bored. Oh, here. Six, seven, one, six. Okay, where do I input that actually? Oh wait, there was an, a place with a new a, a numerical code. Was it here? I think it was one of these. Okay, it wasn't this one. Maybe it was floor one, perhaps? Let's see. 716, 716. Three digit code, yep, I'm so smart. 716, let's go. Nurses know, get close to the sky. Wire holds the handles tight. I didn't even plans could cut this, not that I have those. What can I do about it? How annoying. Hydrogen bromide. It can melt iron, huh? Maybe it'll work on that door on the, to the rooftop. Let's find some hide again. Oh, George. Hold on. Is it? Nope. Grapanol. Prostogen and estrogen. Estrogen, huh? Might have to slip a little bit of that to the bro. Hydrogen bromide. Have to be careful with this. Found the Heidi. Now, right, let's go. Hydrogen bromide. Could take care of this wire. Okay, then do it! Oh my goodness. You can't make up your mind. Fluffy, stand back. This could be dangerous. Working. This is kind of fun. Reminds me of a science experiment. Whoosh! Door can now be opened. Yay, we're outside! Hey, don't run around. You'll fall. I can't see Mama from here. She must still be looking for the things she lost. I hope she finds me soon. She'll be here soon, I'm sure. You sure love your mama, huh? Mama's the best. Do you like your mama, Mr. David? Yeah, I gotta love my mama. I mean, my mother. Family is important. My mama's nice, but she's scary when she's mad. Is your mama nice? I'm home. Are you feeling better, mom? Did you go to the hospital? Welcome home, Davy. It's just a cold. Don't blow it out of proportion. I feel a lot better after getting some rest. There's really no good side to being feeble. I'm sorry to always be causing you trouble. Don't worry about it. We're just a family of two. Of course we have to help each other. Oh, you're so kind. Say, how's it going with Shirley? She hasn't come by here lately. We haven't talked that much. We haven't met that much because of work. Though I'd like to talk with them more about the future and all that. She must be anxious. It's a big event in a woman's life. Make sure to support her, will you? Are you are you sure you're not in pain, Mom? You don't look very well. Get some sleep. I can make my own meals. 
I'm glad to have such a kind sign. Thank you, Davy. Yeah, she's very kind. She always cared about me. You better get home soon then, Mr. David. Your mama must be really worried. Suppose you're right. Same reason why yours was showing up soon. Just wait with me until then. Dave. A psychiatrist committed suicide. Doctor employed was found dead by a nurse. He discovered hang. He's a demon get a suicide. Personally. The nurses know. Is <laughs> if that means what I think it means, that's kind of fucked up. But hey, children can be twisted sometimes. Children can be pretty damn twisted sometimes. What is he doing? Back up! Why are you getting closer? Is it is it eating the embryo model? Why are you just watching it? <laughs> Mr. David! No, stay away! <laughs> I gotta chase that monster! My head, I'm bleeding, I'm so dizzy. Oh my goodness. Where could they have gone? Oh shit. Fluffy! No, I don't want to stay away. I have to do something about that thing. Hold on, fire extinguisher. Hold on, fire extinguisher. I use this against that monster. Hey, lay your ass down. Sit your bitch ass down. <laughs> Mr. David. Fluffy, you're not hurt? No, I'm fine. I'm sorry, it was my fault that you got hurt. It's okay. Not your fault. Didn't do anything wrong. Mr. David! We're a little fucked up, right? It's not your fault, don't be distraught. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. If we had noticed a little sooner. Ah, uh, Mr. David. Did I pass out? Ah, oh, head still hurts, stupid monster. Mr. David, are you really okay? Yeah, Fluffy, I'm fine. You're not hurt? No. I'll be fine too, so stop worrying. Sorry for worrying you. Looks like that monster went away. Fluffy? I want my mama. I don't like monsters. I don't like the dark. Fluffy. Should we go to the police? I'm sure your mother's there, so. I told my mama I'd wait. Mama said she was proud of me, so I'll wait for her. Mama wouldn't lie. She's gonna come for me. So I have to wait here. He really does she really should be with a sheriff, but he just won't listen. If I try to force him, he'll just run. I'll give him a little more time, then I'll force him to go if I have to. I do wonder what his mom's doing though, leaving her son behind like this. I can't believe some people. 
What's that monster up to? He was chasing me before, but now it's just after Fluffy. I don't think I can possibly know. I just need to protect him from getting attacked. Maybe I should find a weapon somewhere. You're a good kid, Fluffy. Putting up with all this, you're really great. I bet your mama's really glad. Hold out a little more, okay? I'll stay with you. No more monsters? Can't say, but I'll protect you if there are. So don't wander away from me, okay? Okay. Wanted to go to where the dude killed himself at. And maybe the last piece is here. Oh, snap. Is this it? Thank you! Ah, right, we're out of here. We're out. We're out. Save. We're out. We're out. What is that? Save key right here. Hold on! Hold on, we got a blick! They gave us a blick. They gave us a blick. Mr. David! Monster! Mr. David, help! This monster's persistent. Fluffy, over here! No, I'm scared of monsters. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Fluffy, get over here. Don't let that monster come near you. Fluffy! Gotta go after Fluffy. Why do they keep on? There they are! Fluffy! No, 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 stay away, Mr. David, help! Over here, Fluffy, don't let it get near! Run away! Mr. David, help! It really is after Fluffy, why? Don't let it catch you, run away, I'll take care of it! Alright, we're gonna shoot this bitch. Come here, nigga. Hold on, hold on. Bro, move. Dog, move! Let go! Let's go! This is the end! Don't come near Fluffy again, monster! Woo, I don't know how many times I shot it, but not even it can survive that. Fluffy, I'm sorry I had to go through that, but it's okay now. Fluffy was wrong. Were you hurt? Why? Huh? It's so scary, but I keep hanging in there, and I just want to go home. So why won't mama come? Nigga, I don't know. Does mama hate me? Nigga, I don't know. Fluffy. Mama hates me, so she'll never come back for me. I'm just an unwanted kid. Fluffy, that's not true. It, it's not it. Uh, shit, I don't fucking know. That's not you or you. I'm going to become, I'm going to Mr. Policeman. I see. Okay, I'll go with you. I'm fine. I can go there myself. Fluffy, you shouldn't be alone late at night. I'm a tough kid. I can make it on my own, even if mommy isn't there. Even if mommy isn't there, I won't cry. Wait. Ow. My head feels like it's gonna explode. Fluffy. He left on his own? No, Fluffy, your mother didn't hate you. 
it was you who lost faith in her. What have I been doing here? Wandering these ruins, looking for a man I don't know. What have you been doing, dumbass? I should go home. There's no point to this. Nothing will change. My goodness. You finally get some fucking sense. Golly. Get out. What the? Sounds like a woman's voice. Could it be Fluffy's mother? So she did come for him. That's good. They passed her voice coming from the clinic side. I'll go check it out. That's over here. He's not here. Not here. Let's check down. Oh, shit. What is all of this? Who, who's that over there? Shit, it's a ghost. Hey, who are you? Mom? Davey, why do you abandon me? That's not, mom, how can you be here? I hate hospitals. You're my family and you abandoned me. No, you were sick, mom. So, so you left me. My own family couldn't stand me anymore. No, you're wrong. The fuck? The f Who are you? My mom couldn't possibly be here. Why are you pretending to be her? It hurts, Davy. Just like it did then. Are you going to try and kill me again? It hurts so much, Davy. <laughs> Who are you? Why are you in my house? What did you do to my husband? Answer me! Mom, please stop. You keep saying things like that. Dad left a long time ago, okay? Did you forget? Shut up, intruder! I don't know anyone like you! I'll call the police on you! Stop it. Don't tell me you're already going see now. Please, take a rest for the day. I'm tired from work. Just tell me if I'm a bother. Shut up! Keep your mouth shut! Do you think I know you? Get out of here! Stop! Why are you saying? What are you saying? Did I do something wrong? Please, just tell me if I did anything wrong. Are you teasing me because it's not funny? Please, Mom. Quiet. I'm not your mother. I don't know you. Get out. Enough. <laughs> Murderer! Somebody murder! David, hey, what are you doing? Hey, stop, let go, you trying to kill her? David! It appears to be a brain tumor. It's putting significant pressure on her brain. Sudden changes in behavior, violent action, and memory loss can be signs of a brain disease. It's not your fault. Don't be distraught. In some cases, counseling to resolve friction in a family can uncover an illness. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but this kind of thing happens all the time. If we had noticed a little sooner... Back to the topic of your mother. She appears to be very weak. We'll have to postpone the operation for now. We've hospitalized, we've hospitalized her for the time being. And a condition will influence our decision. Hopefully it won't be too long. 
Please, come by to see her often. Even if she doesn't know you, she is family. No. We're not family anymore. Don't say we are. If I hadn't been stopped, just like that, I would have... I would have never been forgiven for it. There really is, there really was hatred in me. And it's true, I've abandoned her in the hospital. She was my only family. My precious mother who cared for me after my father left, and yet I... My wishes never come true. My dreams, love, and even family all go away. I can't have anything that's not crooked. His brother crooked, man? What have I been searching for? I don't have to anymore, it's obvious now. There was only one way from the very beginning. Ooh. We're gonna kill ourselves? That's the end of the episode, guys. If y'all enjoyed, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and read about to tap into the next one. This game is crazy, bro. Hold on. They, 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 they really getting into some story, bro. Some plot. But I hope y'all are enjoying it. Peace out. Tap into the next one.